uh, thank everyone for coming out this morning. Uh, let me just first say that Butler almost did it last night. <laughs> oh. Oh. I was very exciting. I was rooting with my heart. They did a great job. So it was a great game. Uh, congratulations to Duke. But uh, Butler had a very impressive showing. Uh, what we're going to do really quickly today is we're going to talk about a very unique program, um, our Marist Fellow program. Give you a little background of where we were last year, where we are currently, and then uh, you'll hear from some speakers behind me, and then uh, we'll conclude the fellows piece of the press conference, and then we'll open it up to general city business. Uh, let me start with saying that you know when you have a tough economy, you've got to be creative in tough times. You've got to find ways to do more uh, with less. And essentially, as you know, our city has some significant budget challenges. And we have to figure out different ways that we can marshal resources. Uh, one way to do that is to create public and private partnerships. And that's something I committed to uh, before I ran for mayor. Last year, we were able to raise $1.4 million of public-private partnership dollars for our different initiatives. Uh, we've talked about having 13,000 volunteer hour, hours, $260,000 of economic impact in our community. Um, we had a program that we partnered with uh, Harvard last year. That was the inaugural program, the Marist Fellow Program. It was one of the best and most innovative uh, programs that we did last year. It was a competitive program where young people competed who wanted to participate in public service. We had five Harvard Business Graduate School students participate in an eight-week full-time internship program. They were focused on downtown economic development, education, homelessness, and arts initiatives. And we realized that that win-win that's happening 3,000 miles away, why can't we do it right here in our own backyard? So we expanded the program to local universities. Um, and I'm very excited that we have a partnership that we're kicking off and announcing today publicly with uh, UC Davis and Sac State. Um, these fellows that you see behind me, you'll hear from a couple of them a little bit later. Um, they represent the very best and brightest of both UC Davis and Sac State. Um, we have two deans with us that you'll hear from in a minute. We have Dean Corral from UC Davis. He's the head of the Dean uh, of Business School at UC Davis. And then we have Dr. Gossett, who's the Dean at Sac State. Um, what makes this program, in my mind, uh, really important is we have to figure out how we can marshal not only resources, but how can we cultivate our young talent here in our community, get them involved um, with the public sector, and then hopefully find a way to retain them going forward. We don't want the young and brightest to choose other places up and down the state or beyond the state of California. We want to create opportunities right here so they get practical field experience, hopefully enough that they like it, that when they graduate, if they have not graduated from uh, graduate school programs, they'd want to stay here locally. So part of this program is trying to figure out how we retain uh, local talent as well. So at this point in time, I'm going to kick it off, uh, kick it over to uh, my chief of staff, who's kind of the, the, uh, the, creator, the creator of the, uh, of the Mayor's Fellowship Program. He participated as a White House Fellow in Washington, D.C., and he's a brainchild of this program. So Kanal Merchant. So thank you, Mayor. Um, as the Mayor said, we're very proud um, to have our first group of local fellows this year. And so what I want to do is take a second and uh, share a little bit of details about each of them before I introduce the two deans. For the media, in your press kits on page three, has the spellings and names of all the, of the fellows this year. Um, so starting from uh, the left to the right, we'll start with Rainy Chu, who is an MBA candidate at the UC Davis School of Management. And her career interest is public management. Uh, and she has a pretty wide range of interests from the economy and economic development, downtown revitalization, but the best opportunity we found for her was the Arts Initiative, so that's what she's working on. Next to her is Trey Borden, who worked with us last summer before he began his MBA program at Davis this fall. His career interest is in the green technology space, and so he's plugged into our soon-to-be launch green initiative. Should wore green today? He should have probably. Not a it's not the pink initiative. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trey Deco wins the award for always being the most stylish fellow, too. Uh, we have uh, Courtney Sweeten behind me, who is uh, an MBA candidate at UC Davis as well. She was an elementary uh, school teacher before going to Davis. Her interest is in career education reform, and she's focused on the mayor's stand-up education initiative. Uh, next to her is Hafisa Arikat, who is a master's candidate at Sacramento State. Her career interest is in international 
human rights, and she's also focused on the Mayor's Stand Up Education Initiative. Uh, then we have Brittany Purdy, who is a psychology major at Sacramento State. Her interest uh, career-wise is family therapy, uh, and she's focused on the volunteer initiative in the Cities of Service Chief Service Officer work that we're doing there. Uh, and last but not least is Jackie Jaska, who is an MBA candidate at UC Davis. Um, her career interest is in the public sector and healthcare and social services, and so she was a great fit for the homelessness initiative, Sacramento Steps Forward, uh, that our office is working on. Um, so congratulations to our group of fellows here. Uh, another critical part of this program uh, are our partner universities, and we have with us today the leaders of those two programs for us, the deans of both UC Davis and Sac State. Both schools are doing two things. They're providing academic support to the students, because they're all active students, and they're also generously providing $2,000 stipends for each of these students so they can devote the time here and still uh, get by. Um, so I want to recognize the leadership of both of them and have them come up for a couple minutes. Uh, I'll first have uh, Dean Stephen Corral from the uh, UC Davis School of Management to come up first. Uh, thank you, Canal, and uh, thank you, Mayor Johnson. I'm really delighted to be here today. I'm, I'm proud, and UC Davis is proud, to be partner, partnering with you on this uh, and, and many other fronts. Uh, in particular, I look forward to the deepening partnership between the Graduate School of Management and the City of Sacramento. The Graduate School of Management at UC Davis aims to be the Sacramento region's global business school. Every world-class city has to have a world-class business school, and uh, we are aiming to fulfill that role. The Mayoral Fellows Program represents an exciting new opportunity for UC Davis MBA students to apply their management talent and their expertise. Through the Mayoral Fellows Program, our MBAs are acquiring a hands-on understanding of how business and government intersect. And I'd like to personally uh, also thank and recognize our MBA students, Trey Borden, Ronnie Chu, Jacqueline Jaska, and Courtney Sweeten, uh, who are with me, uh, with us today. These four MBA students are assisting the mayor's office in developing solutions to challenging and often complex issues uh, facing Sacramento. Their work will contribute to our region's long-term growth and prosperity. And we hope that the city will benefit from the wealth of experience that they have in public and private sectors, uh, as well as the management skills that they've been honing in the graduate school management. Partnerships such as these will help define economic development and underpin solutions in our most pressing uh, areas for the region, such as environment, healthcare, and energy efficiency. And again, the Fellows Program is just one program of partnership between the graduate school management and Mayor Kevin Johnson's office. I look forward to this and future collaborations between the city and the university. Thank you. Thanks, Steve.